to take a little rest because I have to tell a story. I have to tell a story before I do this song. It'll take a couple minutes. That's okay, right? You don't mind, do you? It's a very important story. And I have to share it. Because like I told you, E-Rock shows <clears throat> can be like church sometimes. I'm not a programmed robot. I'm going to do everything that you're supposed to do. And do everything exactly like Elvis because I'm not Elvis. But I'm a big Elvis fan. And I'm alive today, like you know by the story you heard, because of God using Elvis and my mama. I might cry, so bear with me. How great that heart <clears throat> was uh, one of my mama's favorite songs. She loved that. And that was one, what, two, three Grammys for How Great Thou Art. And uh, How Great Thou Art means a lot to me because I think about not only how beautiful and soulful and powerful and spiritual Elvis sang it, but also because it was one of my mom's favorite songs. And my mama died in 2007, so she never got to see me do this. She knew I sang, but I never did the full Elvis sing. I sang some Elvis songs. But I want to tell you, uh, I've been in a lot of competitions, things like that. <clears throat> and, uh, and like you know, for me, the, I'll take the Fan Choice Award over $5,000 and a trophy any day. Because you guys, you the Elvis fans, is what makes it so important and, and gives us the opportunity to do what we do. And uh, I want to tell you a story. Some of you know, Elvis was a very spiritual man, and earlier I read my quote for use, and that it's, it's my tribute from my heart to you all. But I want, what I tell other, I think I even told Tyler when he was first starting out about, don't forget why you do what you're doing. Don't let it, don't let these competitions and all this stuff get you so bound up to where you lose focus of why you're doing what you're doing. Because we know what we're doing. But before I was in, uh, what's Kay Lips, her, her deal, she does the Elvis uh, deal, the competition with the uh, Special Olympics kids and stuff. I always loved that. Patty Perry, I used to go there with her and love, it's just really beautiful time. If you ever get a chance to go see the Elvis Fest by Kay Lips, who's on uh, uh, Facebook, um, you'll, you'll absolutely love it. Uh, actually, she, she's been wanting me to come back. I need to get back there. <clears throat> I think it runs in October. But anyway, before I ever sing, know that I'm going to sing How Great Thou Art because it means so much to me and because my mom, like I said, loved it because I, I, go, I went outside and where nobody was and I go out there and I say a prayer and I look up and I ask God to, to when I sing this, help me to, I don't go out there Lord, I'm going to do all the right moves and uh, help me sing a song and all that. No, I go out there and I look up and I said, let this song touch somebody's heart. Because I, I don't mind people coming up and saying, oh, you sound a lot like Elvis and oh, you're so good. But <clears throat> I look for that spiritual side of what may take place in an individual's life out uh, in the audience. I want to hear something different. I want something with some meat, something that somebody can tell me that uh, not only did it bless them, but so I want to share this story. I came back in. I got up on stage. I sang How Great They Are and got a stand ovation. Went to the second part, got another stand ovation. And that, that's wonderful. Uh, and when it was over, uh, my manager at that time, Sherry, was yelling at me to come here. And I, I walked over there, and I seen she was all teared up and 
And this little cute little old man was standing there, and he was all teary-eyed. And, and uh, she says, you have to, he goes, listen, listen what he has to tell you. And I'm like, okay, nice to, nice to meet you, sir. And uh, he said, uh, son, he goes, I just want to say thank you for singing mine and my wife's song that we always dance before the Lord to. Now, some people wouldn't understand why would How Great Thou Art be a song that you would be your song with your wife. Uh, but I understood that. And like King David, didn't he dance before the Lord with nothing? And the Lord was pleased. So I said, oh, well, you're very welcome. I said, I said, where's your wife? And uh, he said, well, she's been dead about 20 years. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And uh, Since she's been dead about 20 years. He goes, but you know what? He goes, for the first time in 20 years, when you sang How Great Thou Art, I felt like I was dancing with my wife all over again. And I just want to thank you for doing that. He's bawling, I'm bawling, everybody's bawling. But it gets better. I mean, really, let's get... I just have to tell you what else he said before he was leaving. He started to walk away after I said thank you. We talked a little bit. And he walks off to leave. And then he goes, I promise you. He turns around and he goes, he said, by the way, my wife wanted me to tell you that she heard your prayer outside today. Yeah. I said, oh. I got instant chills and stuff because ain't nobody knew I went out there and prayed. Nobody. But that little man did. He thought like, the Lord talked to him probably through his wife. So that right there. I've only been an Elvis tribute artist now for what? Since 2007. And I've had a lot of fun. I've met a lot of great people like you. And got to do a lot of things, became friends, very close friends with Joe Esposito and Patty Perry and, you know, uh, Shirley and all of them. And, and that, that was one, that's, those things were wonderful. I mean, I feel blessed to be able to have been taken in and to be a part of that family. But still, nothing, no award, not any, any next award that I win, or even if I ever make the ultimate again, uh, will ever compare to those, that story. To me. And I have some other ones that are blowing your mind too. So I had to share that to, with you before I sing this song. And I want guys to understand. Don't forget the spiritual side of being a tribute artist. Because Elvis loved God. He made mistakes. He was human like anybody. We all do. We all make mistakes. And the Lord knows I've made my share of them. But when you come up here. And you do it for the right reason. And you sing from your heart to the folks. And you hope in some way, you touched their life, and more than just, well, that guy's good. No, touch them deeply. Let them go out of here, and hopefully you all will go out of here, and you will be moved in some way. And it ain't because of me. It's because of the Spirit of God yes. that flows through me. And so, do you understand? Do you understand? Are, you, are you glad I shared that with you? Amen. I just have to. My shows are different. I cry. I laugh. I, whatever, but I want to share that with you. That's the greatest moment of, and the proudest moment of me being an Elvis tribute artist was that sweet little man. So I just had to share that with you.